Pick a fucking lane, dude. What are you doing? Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Oh, now you're going this way. Pay attention to what you're doing, buddy. You're grabbing a big old piece of moving metal. What is up, guys? Wow, they got it here again, and it's been a while. Uh, so the long story about why it's been a while, it's not really a long story, so the original GoPro that I had uh, decided that it wanted to no longer be in my uh, possession. So, uh, <laughs> so I had bought a type of mount, which you guys will probably see debut in the next week or so, probably next few days. Um, and the mount itself uh, decided that it didn't want to hold onto the GoPro and the GoPro dropped and is lost. And I walked to the road section where I knew it was, uh, had fallen off at. I walked for about an hour and a half looking at the bushes and everything alongside the road. Not a thing, so I do have a new GoPro, same one, four silver. Uh, love it. Love the LCD in the back. Um, but the new Hero, I think it's like the Plus, um, with the LCD built in, it doesn't have any, uh, you know, it doesn't remo remove itself from the case. Like it's, it's all one big unit. Uh, and you just charge it straight to the uh, camera itself. There's no batteries, it's just an uh, internal battery. Which is nice, considering it's you know the same quality stuff as the 4. But I like having the 4 Silver because of all the, you know, I can have like 6 or 7 batteries I think I have at this point. Um, and I'll never be out of, uh, you know, out of juice. So that's nice. Uh, so that's why I stuck with the 4. So... Yeah, but as far as the new mount, um, it's one that I have only seen a couple times people on YouTube uh, posting videos with, and uh, you'll see what is, you know, what's going on with that in the next video after this one. Um, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool, especially on the track. So I'm real excited to, you know, get, once this summer decides to cool down a bit, head back to the track days and start uh, start getting some more of those videos going. Uh, and plus, it's just a lot of fun. So, I'm looking forward to doing that. Oh, another thing. Um, a little while ago, I helped out a friend with uh, her channel. It's called uh, GirlRiders.net. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, we went over to downtown by the water and stuff. She wanted to get some uh, you know, good video by the water and the old Tampa scenery. And it was the same weekend as MetroCon. And I had not known what MetroCon was. I'm not like a uh, enthusiast towards that kind of stuff, but um, I did not know what Metrocon was until that day, and I realized it was just like, I was like, oh, it's Comic-Con, um, just not Comic-Con, uh, but it more like towards anime, and so we're out there, we're, you know, just like videotaping, and she's got her costume on, uh, and she's, she rides a Ducati uh, Hyper Motard. And, um, and so her alias was Hyper Girl, uh, which was pretty funny to film and it was fun to have. You know, just like being ridiculous and silly and, and, and having fun with it. So that was pretty cool uh, just going out there. But man, some of the people that like show up to that event put so much effort into their costumes. Like they're, they're all about it. They are 100% enthusiasts, you know, kind of like the same way that uh, motorcycle riders are. Uh, with all their gear and stuff like that like it's got to be matching you know like you got to have the matching jacket and the matching gloves and all this and so it's kind of like you know that kind of mentality towards uh, what they like is you know I guess anime um, and so we did a video and I'll put the link in the description of the video but it was uh, it was fun you know just kind of going out and doing something different something outside my norm uh, albeit it was super hot out that day so we were like melting videotaping everything but it was, uh, it was cool.